technique two is corn dolly weaving without the straw. Corn dolly weaving is an art in itself. There are lots of books available to show you the various patterns that can be achieved. My goal is to one day master a Cambridge umbrella style. But back to the task at hand. This one is a small spiral. I've used round reeds to show you this technique. However, I've also used ripped flax and agapanthus foliage with success. It will work with any flexible long lengths of foliage. For this technique then, you will need thin, supple lengths of foliage and some scissors. Select five lengths of foliage. From this point in the instructions, I'll refer to them as reeds because that's what I'm using. Knot the reeds together at the base. Holding the knot away from you between your thumb and finger, spread the reeds out in a star shape. Turn the reeds over so that the knot is now facing you, keeping the reed lengths in the star shape. When I first started using this technique, I would automatically place the knot away from me and I would get very frustrated that my effort did not look anything like the example I was following. The knot needs to be inside the weaving for the spiral pattern to be evident. We're going to weave around the knot so that it will be hidden by the finished spiral. Take one reed and pass it over the top of the next two reeds. As awkward as it is to start with, you need to keep the reeds spread out to give a smooth shape to the finished spiral. Pick up the last reed you passed over and take it over the next two reeds. Keeping the reeds spread out, maintain this weaving method of over two pick up the last one passed over. I still repeat this mantra as I am carrying out this technique. Over two pick up the last, over two pick up the last. As you progress, the reeds will settle into a squarish formation, making it easier to weave. Continue weaving in the same pattern of over two pick up the last. I find I turn the whole item over as I weave, which seems to keep the pattern smooth. The spiral shape will begin to narrow, usually just after you have covered your knot. You can now finish off your spiral by knotting the reeds at this point. Trim the excess with scissors and tuck into the spiral or leave the remaining re length of reeds to use when incorporating this spiral into your design. I know you'll find many ways to use these techniques in your floral designs. Let me know how you go. I'd love to see some of your efforts. I'm Kim Bailey.